Hey, welcome back. It's Chaim Maleska here in Central Park. I'll show you a little bit about a little bit of the park today. We're just finishing sunset. New York City. It's a beautiful day. It was an incredibly beautiful day, and it's about to end. And I'm finishing my run here, and I want to share a thought with you today. It's actually the 27th of Nissan today, and tonight, 20, 26 years ago, the Rebbe called out to the Jewish people everywhere and said, in a very, um, let's say, very emphatically and very moving, uh, maybe one of the most stirring talks ever in our uh, Chabad history that the Rebbe said, I've done all that I can to bring Mashiach and it hasn't happened yet so all that's left is now that I ask of you I'm giving it over to you to finish the task and to bring Mashiach it was a very let's just say overwhelming for all of us to hear those words from the Rebbe but long story short Rebbe asked us to do what we can to bring Mashiach and he asked everyone do what you can to bring Mashiach so I'm telling you this also because it's the anniversary of uh, this day and also because this is this little run and this talk that I am doing now is my one of my little ways that I'm trying to help bring Mashiach that we bring the light of the Torah into into the mundane, into Central Park. So that's what we're doing now. So anyway, back to the, the talk. The topic of today is this past week's Parsha, this Parsha at Shemini. Shemini talks about the laws of kosher, among many other things. And today I'm going to share with you a thought from the Rebbe about kosher, about kosher fish. The signs of kosher fish. What does it take to be a kosher fish? And what does it take to be a kosher? Or what do those signs mean for us? And the Rebbe says a very interesting thing about the kosher fish signs. He says, in the Torah, the signs of a kosher fish are, they have to have fins and scales. Now what are the fins and scales? The scales, start with that, scales are the protection of the fish. They protect the fish from anything negative outside, letting only good things in to the fish. And the, and the fins propel the fish forward. They make the fish go on and uh, take it to its intended destination. Says the Rebbe, these fins and scales are also for us. These are signs of a kosher Jew, or a kosher human, really, for that matter. And the Rebbe says that the scales represent the protection that we need to have from outside influences, from the environment, from the culture, from social pressures, anything that's not aligned with the Torah, with God's will. We need to have scales to protect us for that, from that, from them, from them influences. And the fins are that which propel us forward. We need to be motivated, to be active, to be enthusiastic, actively involved in our Jewish life. Don't just let things happen, make things happen. So, snakes, scales, and fins. That's basically the idea. And there's a lot more about the kosher signs and their lessons. I'm just going to throw out one more thing that the Rebbe says, which is also really cool about this. The Talmud says that if you find a fish, you're going fishing, and you find a fish right here in this 
water of Central Park or anywhere else and you find a fish and it only has one of the kosher signs. Is it kosher or not? So you would imagine the Torah says it has to have two signs. It has to have fins and scales. So of course it, it needs both signs. But what if it only has one? So the, Torah, the Talmud says, if you find a fish that has fins, that you see the fins, but you don't see the scales, toss it, it's not kosher. Send it back or sell it. But if you find a fish that has scales without fins, it's still kosher. You need to, you know that it's kosher, why? So the Talmud says it is our tradition that a fish that has scales also has fins. A fish that has scales also has fins. Now sometimes the fins fall off in the net. Sometimes they fall off before or after, whenever. Bottom line is, if it has scales, it's kosher. So here too, says the Rebbe, we could learn an important lesson about its relevance, the practical relevance of these kosher signs in our lives. Now a person, for a person, the scales mean protection from the outside influences, negative influences, and the fins mean to propel the creative juices, the motivation, the action. So a person, too, in this paradigm, a person is very creative and very motivated and very driven, that's great, but it doesn't mean that they're on the right path and they could, God forbid, go on the wrong path and it could lead them very fast down the wrong, the wrong path, too. So, it's, so a person with only creative juices is not kosher. But how about if you only see? Of course, we have both signs. But if you only see, and there's more emphasis on the protection, on making sure that our environment is kosher, that we're safe from the outside influences, says there will be that the more conducive to a kosher person, a kosher lifestyle. And of course, that will bring to having the fins too, and the great motivation in the right direction. That's the story for today. God bless you all. So remember, do what you can to bring Mashiach. The Rebbe asked us to do what we can. You find your niche. Find what is unique. What unique gifts you can give to the world. It doesn't have to be as nutty as a Facebook Live run around the park. But everybody's got something they can give to this world. Go for it.